remember when we used to celebrate the New Year's on New Year's? That stopped after 2020. Yeah. Remember 2020? This is going to be the best year ever. Nothing's going to stop us. We're going to fucking take up. <laughs> so now everybody goes to a New Year's party. Cheers. Good for you. All right. Yeah, yeah. Wait until six months in. All right. It's a good year. All right. Yeah. Yeah. 2022 was fun. We finally got to say that Kanye West shoes are sh <laughs> Some people know what I'm talking about. There's a man on a TV show called the Kardashians. His name was Kanye, and he designed these shoes. And they were fucking They looked like Star Wars had made Crocs, is what they looked like. And they were shitty shoes, but we couldn't say anything because he's black. Nobody wanted to get in trouble. So we just smiled. Good work, Kanye. Right? But then he started talking shit about the shit. And we're like, well, your fucking shoes are shit. <laughs> Thank you, Jews. If it wasn't for the Jews, we'd still be wearing Kanye shit shoes. But nope, they stepped in. Oh, my God. Do you watch the Kardashians at all? Oh, uh, let me tell you about it. Listen to this. It's a show on Bravo about this group of succubuses that travel the world, stealing men's souls. And every time they get one, their nose gets a little thinner. One guy was married to a Kardashian. He wanted out. He had to OD in a house to get away from him. <laughs> Usually you can do one or the other. They're so powerful, he had to do both. Another guy cut off his dick. It's just nuts. Okay, disappoint me on that one, because that was a really good joke right there. No, it isn't. But I, but I could feel the nervous energy in you guys. You're like, we're not allowed to talk about this. HR said we're not allowed to talk about this. No, you gotta talk about things. No matter how ugly the past is, you gotta talk about it, all right? We're gonna talk about God and Bruce Jenner right now. When I grew up, he was the most manly man in the world. Yes. He was so manly. He did 10 sports and one. Why? Because he's the most manly man in the world. And he went to the Olympics and he won the gold medal because nobody else could be as manly as him. And then he came back and we put him on a cereal box because he was manly as <laughs> yeah, yeah, you remember? He had a pair of shorts, one hanging out the side. <laughs> we didn't care. We just put our thumb over the and pour the cereal into our <laughs> box. <laughs> then he married a Kardashian. Boom, he's a woman. <laughs> listen to this. As soon as he became a woman, he became woman of the year. How fucking manly is that? <laughs> that is the most manly thing ever to just tell a bunch of yeah. stand back. I got this. <laughs> and stormed up to the podium in a size 12 high heels and said, thank you. Oh my God, you guys are so nervous. <laughs> what if they put him on a beer can? <laughs> It'd be a tall boy. <laughs> it's not going to be one of those normal size cans, I'll tell you that. It's gonna be a gigantic can and you're gonna have to put two both hands on it. It's the most manly can in the world. Uh, let's get out of here. What do you guys want to do? Want to go, go to Safeway and beat the shit of whoever's in there as a group? <laughs> kick his ass. You think there's one person shopping? Well, kick his ass. There he is, right there in produce. Go, everybody. What the f It's gonna be more than one person. San Francisco, this isn't San Ramon. There's too many items, yes, yes, in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seem to have a little anger in you, sir, about the grocery store. You're the reason it says, oh, 15, oh, maybe more. It doesn't say or less. The rules aren't as twite. What? Twite. 14. 14 is less than 15, yeah. You do know I don't own a grocery store, right? <laughs> I feel like you asked to speak to the manager and you think I'm the manager. There's a little booth over there. I'd like you to go in there with him. Tell him, tell him the bad things you've done. Father Gary, take that guy over there. He's been in fights because somebody had 16 items in a fight. 15 items, 
What the f you piece of sh went you with my car on time? You gotta No, they don't work at Home Depot anymore. They've moved on. Life is fucking elevated for them. He does tattoos, she's a nurse. You're still at Home Depot? Yeah, you're far behind on this show. You might want to talk to somebody at your table and catch up. Ma'am, I said you're a nurse, but what do you do? I actually manage a chocolate factory. You manage a chocolate factory? Well, this show is over. Let's get the f*** out of here. Come on, Charlene, take us to your factory. Oh, my God. What, what chocolate factory do you have? Gary Deli and Lynn. Gary Deli. Yeah! How rich are you people? I've never even heard of it before. Yeah. Why is there an Indian lady over there? <laughs> My God, some lady just came flying in off the reserve and wanted chocolate for no apparent reason. Where is that even coming? It sounds like it's coming from a low area. Is it you, ma'am? Yes. Take off your top. <laughs> I feel like a girl that makes that noise will take off her top, right? I feel like somebody took her top off for that night. That was not the scream I wanted to hear. Keep your f***ing in. I've asked that a lot. Nobody ever flashes their boobs at a comedy show. Nobody ever says, this is the best joke ever. Walk up. That one lady f***ing whip out her teeth and was not a teeth you wanted to see. Him with the she brought it out of her top like this. Yeah. Like she was reaching into a box to get a kitten or something. I think there's one more in there. Let me get it for you, fucking. Oh, there it is. Boom. Nipple facing straight down. I didn't even know nipples had elbows. I was shocked and surprised. That's what her nipple looked like. I'm guessing her one lip was longer than the other. Looked like a SWAT team sneaking into a house. Clear, clear. about my <laughs> I've got the one lip longer than the other. It happened when I was figure skating when I was a young girl. <laughs> got caught on the ice and just struck <laughs> and That's when I knew I had to manage a candy factory. <laughs> everybody claps for you. Uh, oh, everybody's clapping for you. I'm sorry. Everybody's clapping for you. That's for you and your long lip. <laughs> you guys have dogs? That couple right there? You guys got dogs? Yeah, you do. What kind of dogs you got? Shepherd Husky. Shepherd Husky. <laughs> Just one or? One, yeah, that's enough. What's its name? Winston. Winston. <laughs> Fancy f right? Just at home, probably wearing shoes. <laughs> pair of Crocs around the house. <laughs> Love it. That is good. You got a dog too, buddy? Yeah. You got a dog named Hershey? Hershey. It's his birthday? Hershey's birthday? What the f*** is going on? Hold on, everybody calm down. I started talking to the San Rafael people and I'm all f***. The poor people got me. Yes, ma'am, question? What's that? You just put up your hand. Out. You work at a shelter? Okay, all right. Uh, Any other questions? <laughs> Would anybody else just like to yell out what they do? Excuse me, sir. I work in a shelter. Congrats. Good for you for doing something nice. And why'd you put up your hand, sir? You have a, you have a dog. You love your dog, Hershey. Hershey. And is it your birthday? It is your birthday? That's nice. Come. Thanks for me. Thanks for coming to see me. I just had a stroke in the middle of it. I tried to say, thanks for coming. I w I'm glad I could be your birthday present, sir. Come, come out, have a couple drinks, yell a couple things out, and then go home and hold Hershey. Oh. How old's Hersh? Hershey's 20? Oh, that is awesome. Right. Chihuahua, right? It's Chihuahua. Chihuahuas live forever. They're like 40 years old, one tooth. Thinking about putting you down. 
crazy chihuahua. What is it? Even worse, chihuahua dachshund. Chihuahua dachshund? <laughs> that thing's never gonna die. It's gonna end up in those wheels. <laughs> Lady that lives here, you got a pet? I feel like you probably got a chinchilla. Something weird that a stripper owns. 40-year-old stripper that had a book. 40. She has a dog. Does the dog have a name? Danny Dorito. Danny Dorito. A little racist. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him by a white name, but I'm pretty sure he's Mexican. Danny Dorito. He's what? Shh, I'm trying to talk to these people. He's white? He's white, she's Mexican. Oh, if, I, if I've heard this chestnut once, I've heard it a million times. He's white, she's Mexican. We're still talking about the dog or a boyfriend? Both. She's got a white dog and a white boyfriend. Good for you. How old's Danny Dorito? One and a half. Ah, uh, different. <laughs> They're both on the floor, but for completely different reasons. <laughs> First, she can't keep it in, and Danny Dorito's just <laughs> stubborn as a. I don't want to be white. Those are the correct numbers of dogs to have, by the way. One, that is the way to go. Don't go with too many. I have, I have three, and that's way too many. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, yeah. You got four. That's insane. We started with one. We got Lou. We got him from the pound. He's half German Shepherd, half pit bull. Yeah. yeah. Got him to guard the house. Didn't really turn out like we thought it would. <laughs> no, he's emo or Oshburgers, but he cannot make eye contact with you. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> you break into the house. He just looks out the window. Hi. This is a private residence. Then he goes in the back room and listens to his Depeche Mode albums while everything's going. God, this comes from her feet. Like, I think she's wearing one of those remote control vibrators or something. And her boyfriend keeps hitting the button every time I get to the punchline. Like, I wish we could all enjoy comedy that much, but the rest of us are like, ha <laughs> Do it again, don't stop. Further, further. 